During the 1960s, there was a significant push to develop vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Many designs were created, but most of these projects ended in failure. One of the France's most notable attempts was the Mirage 3V, which was successful in many aspects. Its most impressive achievement was its high speed. It still holds the record for the fastest vertical takeoff aircraft, reaching a top speed of Mach 2. During the peak of the Cold War, military technology rapidly advanced, fueling an arms race between the superpowers. The ICBM significantly impacted weapon design, leading to the cancellation of many aircraft, particularly bombers and fighter bombers, as ICBMs were faster, cheaper, less vulnerable, and more effective. Since the 1950s, aircraft had become bigger, heavier, faster, and had come to depend on large, fixed runways that were difficult to conceal. Governments, particularly NATO, were concerned that these highly visible bases could be easily targeted and destroyed by ICBMs. The solution was thought to be dispersed basing, which would require vertical takeoff and landing, or at least short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft. NATO was highly motivated to develop vertical or short takeoff aircraft, and in 1960 established NATO Basic Military Requirement 3, aimed at producing a vertical or short takeoff aircraft for service by 1964. However, in March 1961, the requirement was revised to focus on a vertical takeoff aircraft capable of achieving Mach 2.2 at high altitude, Mach 1 at low altitude, and delivering nuclear weapons. Dassault proposed the Mach 2-capable Mirage 3V, which was accepted in September 1960. Approximately 120 aircraft were needed to replace the French Air Force's Mirage 3E attack aircraft by 1967. To demonstrate the viability of vertical takeoff flight, which was still in its early stages, Dassault collaborated with Sud Aviation to build the Balzac V demonstration aircraft, with the V again standing for vertical takeoff and landing. On February 2, 1961, the French Air Force officially commissioned the construction of the aircraft, utilizing a wing from a Mirage 3 prototype and a fuselage designed and built by Sud Aviation. Its entire center fuselage was replaced. The aircraft was equipped with nine engines, one conventional horizontally mounted Bristol Siddeley Orpheus, three turbojet, and eight Rolls-Royce RB, 108 turbojets for vertical lift. There were four compartments in the aircraft, each containing two vertically mounted engines. The Balzac V had a total internal fuel capacity of only 1,650 liters, providing an endurance of just 12 minutes with all engines running. It was unarmed and lacked operational equipment. Despite this, its thrust-to-weight ratio was insufficient to achieve speeds beyond Mach 1, with a maximum speed limited to Mach 0.90. On October 12, 1962, the Balzac conducted its first flight, secured to the ground by nylon cables attached to lifting points near its nose and main landing gear. By October 18th, it achieved its first free hovering flight, followed by its initial conventional flight on March 1st of the following year. Finally, on March 18th, 1963, the aircraft successfully completed its first transition from vertical to horizontal flight. The Balzac made its first complete cycle of taking off vertically, flying horizontally, and then landing vertically on the 29th of March. It was successfully demonstrated at the Paris Air Show in June 1963. These achievements were marred by two fatal accidents attributed in part to the complexity of the flight control system, jet reaction control system, and the configuration with nine engines. The first accident took place on January 10, 1964. Pilot lost control of the aircraft when he attempted to correct drift caused by a crosswind. The aircraft exceeded safe limits of speed and angle of attack, leading to a crash that tragically resulted in pilot's death. Following the crash, the aircraft underwent reconstruction and resumed flight testing in February 1965. While the Balzac V was undergoing testing, development of the Mirage 3V advanced rapidly. Full-scale design and development of the aircraft commenced on August 29, 1961. The Mirage 3V differed significantly from the Balzac due to its incorporation of new lift jets, an internal weapons bay, and additional fuel, resulting in a much larger and heavier aircraft. It featured a taller vertical tail fin and a larger, thinner wing with a cranked leading edge. Unlike previous Mirage designs, it adopted twin landing gear wheels on all three legs. Armament included two 30mm cannons with 125 rounds each and a 544 kilograms of ordnance in its internal weapons bay. Even for the mid-1960s, this was an unacceptably small weapon load for any fighter. The initial Mirage 3V prototype, designated Mirage 3V1, was equipped with a TF-104B engine producing approximately 6,400 kilograms of thrust and afterburner, along with eight Rolls-Royce RB-162 lifting jets. 
Free hovering trials with the Mirage 3v1 commenced on the 12th of February 1965. There were many problems that emerged during testing. The TF-104 engine proved troublesome, the lift engines failed to deliver the expected thrust, and the airframe was too heavy. In December 1965, the more powerful TF-106 engine, which developed about 8 tons of thrust, was installed in the Mirage 3v1. The Mirage reached a significant milestone on the 24th of March 1966 by completing its first full transitioning flight. However, this achievement was overshadowed by lateral instability during the transition phase. The second prototype made its first flight on the 22nd of June 1966. During its 11th sortie on the 12th of September of that year, it reached Mach 2.03 in level flight, setting a world speed record for a vertical takeoff aircraft. To this day, it remains the only vertical aircraft to have exceeded Mach 2, with the closest competitor being the prototype Yak-141, which reached Mach 1.69. Both 3V prototypes continued testing until the 3V2 was accidentally destroyed during flight tests. On the 28th of November 1966, following the crash, the program was terminated and the French government abandoned their vertical takeoff and landing aircraft project.